Hello, welcome to my channel. It's Annie Sense, and today's video we will be looking at the Jean Paul Gaultier Classic range. Okay, so these are the bottles that I have my um hands on. I know there are plenty out there. Um, the ones that I don't own will be the X range. I know they have an X, and that one has different notes. You know, compared to these ones, I know there's the um they have like a non-alcohol summer range that comes out. I don't own any of those, so this is just what I have. Um, so those of you who love the range or are thinking of trying it, I really hope that this video will be, you know, insightful, informative. Um, maybe think about whether you need to search for some of these or maybe just take it out of the cart. <laughs> Right, so let's get into it. So we're going to start off with first. Um, let me get my the notes out. We're going to start off with the EDT version, okay, which is this bottle here. Um, this one is a it's just a thirty mil. Um, I can't clearly see how many ounces it it is, but um, so this one has orange blossom, star anise, rose, mandarin orange. Pear, bergamot, ylang ylang, ginger orchid, iris, tuberose, plum, vanilla, amber, musk, cinnamon, and sand, sand, sandalwood. So as you can see, there's a lot of notes in this perfume. Now, what will I say about this perfume? Many have compared it, along for Grantica, to Chanel Number no. Five. I would agree with them, just in terms of the soapiness. This has this. I don't know if it's the aldehydes. Although this is not in, it's not part of the notes for this particular perfume, but they do share that same sort of soapiness. Some people find the Chanel Number no. Five one a bit screechy, a bit overly mature. This one does have a bit of a mature vibe, um, but you can detect, you know, a touch of vanilla with this one. This one is an EDT. It lasts what shall we say about four or five hours. Um, I haven't probably properly tested it on skin, but on clothing, it didn't last long. I couldn't smell it the next day. So that's that. We will come back to this. The next one is this one. Um, let me pull out the notes. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now this one, the style of the bottle, I'm not really sure about the liquid inside him. Um, the style of the bottle is the 1993 version, I believe. So this one has been discontinued. I don't know if my bottle in particular has been reformulated. But um, here are the notes for this one. You've got rum. You've got rose. You've got vanilla orchid. You've got narcissus. Hope I'm saying that right. Vanilla, amber, tonka bean and sandalwood. Now, this one shares similarities with the EDT, but I will say this one, obviously being an EDP, it does last longer. And this one is more sweeter smelling and it's a bit more bearable if you find this one a little bit too soapy. If you find it a bit mature, um, you might you may prefer this one. This one is quite sweet on the vanilla and as I have said, it does last longer. So this one is the discontinued version of Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique. Now, this is the one now, the bottle with this got the red, um, so what should we say, corset? What, what do we call these? <laughs> like, there's so many names for this, like Buddhas. But um, this one, I don't know if it's 2017 or 2019. I can't remember, but it's got the exact same notes as this one. However, this one has Sicilian orange. And something what I've noticed about the two, yes, they, they both smell the same pretty much. Apart from this one is much more sweeter. And this one lasts longer on me. This one I can still detect it. Um, so if I spray it, let's say around 7 a.m. in the morning, come back home at like around 4 or 5, I can still really smell it. And like underneath, you know, the top part I've worn. Whereas this one... I wore it, um, I don't know, last week or two weeks ago. And after the time, it, I couldn't smell it as much. So this one, I would say, lasts maybe, I'm just estimating, maybe two hours more. And it has a little bit more of a presence. This is really, really sweet. I don't know if it's the Sicilian orange that makes it really sweet. But as well as, as you can 
see maybe not clearly sorry about the um background today um i've actually I actually saw this video before and i watched it back and i was like oh you can't really s um most of the products was cut off so i had to redo this video again but yeah this is the um bottle that has been marketed the most it, ha it does have the soapiness you can detect it but i think this one is more manageable and what i would say with this one i it was a mm, i was like when i first got it i was like oh it's okay but as time went on i wore it i think six seven times before i fe fell in love with this um so it's, it's one of those ones if you feel like oh i've tried scandal so i'm going to try this one you might be disappointed i was as well or if you liked la belle and you were thinking let me try the rest of the range you may be disappointed but i do actually really really enjoy it. i really love the vanilla in this um so once again this is the version that is more advertised and i think this is the bottle you will see in the stores okay let's go on to the intents i'm just going to find the notes for you Ooh. the intents where are you right so the intense version if, if my you know screen will bother to <laughs> actually move is this bottle comes in the gold um how would you even describe it like it's a nice it's a nice bottle i quite like it so it's top notes is tear flower might not be pronouncing them right it's got pomegranate orange blossom jasmine rose vanilla and patchouli so this one unlike the others that i've mentioned has got patchouli and when i first smelt this guys i did detect the patchouli and it actually put me off for a bit i was like oh my gosh you know it's a heavy patchouli scent that was all i could smell in the beginning but after giving it a few more wears um I've become to really like it. Now, there's no ginger in this particular perfume, but I just get that ginger vibe. It's like a sweet ginger vibe. I don't detect any soapiness. So if you didn't like, if you don't like the sort of soapiness of these three, you may like this one. This is like a really sweet ginger um, smell. I don't know how I don't know how to describe, but it's got patchouli. If you're not a big fan of patchouli, you may not like this one. Um, is it worth you? You know, if you own this, is it worth you owning this one? I will say yes because it is different. There's not too much similarities. So this is the classic intense. With these ones, just in case, just if I haven't mentioned it, I don't believe you need all three. If I'm being really honest, if you are a collector, you like the bottles, I say go for it. You don't need all three. Um, you probably have your, if you like if you're sweet, sweet, sweet girl like me. You like this one. If you just want a soapy sort of, from, you know, you've come from the gym. You you've you just had a shower. You're going to bed. You may like this one. Or, you know, white t-shirt day. And uh, this one is the in between of those two. You don't need to have all three. And uh, probably if these two run out, I would repurchase this one these two i might not go for it this this is no point <clears throat> but I'm, I'm trying to get more use out of this one <laughs> so that i can you know enjoy this okay let's move on actually we'll come to this one in a bit let's go on to this one let me open it up so um this is the airlines sorry this is the airline um version it came out in 2018 and let's look at the notes. It's got sorbet, sugar cane, ginger, lemon. It's got the terry flower of this one. And they do smell very similar. It's got jasmine, orange blossom, which I think this one has orange blossom. And I think that's, I also detect that here as well. Vanilla, musk, and if I pronounce this right, labdanum. So this one shares some similarities with this one. You can detect the orange blossom and ginger, even though this one doesn't have ginger um sorry this one is quite long lasting um but you smell it on your clothing it's not like this one where i could smell it around me and others will smell it on you this one maybe an after an hour it just kind of stays on your clothes and you get whiffs of it throughout the day and you're like oh what's that smell whilst as this one you feel it like you can really really smell it 
sorry now back to this one um this one is the um and i don't know if i'm pronouncing this correct this is the alfrechi alfrechi so this one um you, if you are a john paul gautier fan you might recognize that they they have a wonder woman version a betty boop version um, I recently saw like a striped one. I know they have like lots of stripes one, like a red striped one. I think it's like it has a, like a one shoulder dress. But um, they all have the same notes. So do be careful when looking to buy. They have the same notes. It just might be that one note is more dominant than the other. For example, sorbet, tear flower and vanilla are the dominant notes in this one. But check the bottles. If you're thinking, oh, I want to try the other one, I would say it's probably not worth it. Only if you're a collector and you really love the bottles, I would say <clears throat> go for this one. This one on skin lasts a couple of hours. Now, this is um, the research um, that I did is even less concentrated than an EDT. So this one will be your summer. You get a few hours and then it's gone. But surprisingly it did last quite long on clothes. It lasted a lot longer than the EDT. Surprisingly I could still actually smell this my jumper when I tested it um like on clothing. I haven't worn it out. So this one, this one and I think I've worn this one. I think these two haven't worn out um so yeah that's the airline El <clears throat> okay we have this one this one is let me get it up this is the essence and as you can oh my screen what's going on um as you can see the bottle is different it's very similar to the label that's so it might confuse you um so do you know just make sure you check um i think this one is discontinued though so i don't think you'll find it in stores let me read out the notes for you <clears throat> tangerine ginger aldehyde. so we've got the soapiness that appears in these three orange blossom which appears in <laughs> these two jasmine again we get whipped cream this is what made me buy it Vanilla, this has benzo in, cashmere wood, and some woody notes. This one gives me similar vibes to this one. They're, they have similarities, but they're quite different. They're like, it's the same vibe. Um, So it's one of those, you probably might not want to have the two. This one though, there's no patchouli. So if you're like, oh, I like this, but I didn't like the patchouli, you might want to try this. You really get the ginger in this. You get creaminess. You do get soapiness, but do not let that put you off. It's not as soapy. Like this is soapy, soapy. These two are like, mm, kind, you know, okay. This one is not as soapy. So I will say, do um, give it a try. It gives me Livia Bell Eclat vibes um yeah it's just a really nice winter or you know autumn winter perfume it's very creamy it's very sweet the ginger is very sweet um it's it's a really really nice perfume i do really enjoy <clears throat> this one last and power a bit the same like this one um you get it's this one is, i feel stronger though but you do get um whiffs of it you know throughout the day um <clears throat> i feel like it doesn't last me as long as this this is probably um i need to test that one a bit more but out of the ones i've talked about this one is still the strongest dominant one so this is um jean paul classique and this is essence last but not the least the one that has been most spoken about um on youtube this is the label <clears throat> this is oh i don't even think i've got the notes for this one but um off the top of my head i know it's got pear vetiver and vanilla i think it's just the, those three notes on fragrantica um i know people said that there might be other notes it's quite possible i'm not sure if it's got tonka bean as well but i remember that the notes were just very simple this is your pear bakery so you so it's it's not as juicy as the scandal a paris but this one is more like a pastry bakery type vibe. This one, 
um as i said in my video and i think i mentioned livia bell instead of this one the bell reminds me of the new carolina herrera fragrance the supreme they both have that pastry note um if i'm honest with you i haven't actually worn this out so i can't you know make a comment in terms of longevity and projection but i really will i will do as soon as i do i will um let you guys know and it, this is completely different um from all these fragrances no this one has no soapy soapiness whatsoever um the only thing with this one it's not it doesn't come under the classic name so i'm not sure in terms of you know what's going on it's got the same bottle as the essence but it just doesn't come up as classic for some reason but i'm sure we'll find out soon enough if they release you know another flanka so yeah this is a label um oh i cannot wait to really try this out so yeah if you're like gourmand you may really you know enjoy these two <clears throat> i would recommend it <clears throat> this might be your summer come out in the summer these are your kind of soapy clean fragrances this one might you know winter as well but yeah i do enjoy the range um i was looking at the cabaret and the pin-up version but this is you know what i've got so far this is jean paul gaultier classic Woo, thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video i hope i am um, it was informative and it just helped you to decide you know in terms of what to buy what to search for um because i know some we a lot of us are blind by you know we don't want to sort of waste our money buying fragrances that smell the same and um you know longevity longevity and all sorts but yeah i do actually enjoy them all i am looking forward to wearing you know this one this one and this one and then i'll give my comments on that right <clears throat> so you know what you know what to do if you enjoy this video you gotta like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching bye